Hi everyone, I have a swing here of Dave, uh, 3 handicapper, hitting a driver and we're going to play it in full and then have a look at it in slow motion. So a nice uh, powerful high draw there from Dave, so uh, let's do a bit of analysis on it now. So we're just going to draw a line through the shaft and through his shoulders here. So a nice setup, nice athletic setup, maybe a little bit of weight in the heels, but not their main concern today. So what we see in Dave's takeaway is a big movement behind him with his hands. So we see it right away, he gets that shaft moving very much behind him, the club head behind the feet already. So uh, we see those hands not really setting properly in the shaft of the club is over here so quite an unusual flat back swing again we see the shaft here uh, wrists in a very flat position club head a little bit closed very much behind him with the club here so on this downswing we see a fantastic transition to get the club in a much better position relative to his backswing so if we actually draw a line from the very top of the backswing down to the ball, we see him really drop that club down really well, very good here, into a fantastic impact position. However, my concern is, is that going to happen on a consistent basis? Is he going to get that club into this position here, especially under a bit of pressure? Possibly not. So what we're going to really work on with Dave is just one thing into the backswing. And all that's going to be is setting his hands in a slightly different way. So you see it taking a club low here. So from this position, what I want to see is his hands moving more up here. Okay, instead of around here, around here. Right, so ideally, Dave, we're going to get those hands moving up, and we're going to see the club shaft in a different position. What this is going to do is going to encourage you to turn your your chest a bit better, using the bigger muscles instead of getting hands dominated, make it much easier to transition the club instead of having you to really rely on, we say, your timing or your your feel. That we're really going to just uh, make this more consistent move by feeling those hands hinge upwards better. Okay, Dave, try that out. Let me know how you get on, and we'll have another look at it soon.